Hey guys, I'm going to show you the freeze frame tutorial in Sony Vegas. Um, it's a little preview here now. So you can see where the soldier is freeze framed in basically a certain period of time. Um, I'll show you how to do that now. So if you just open up Sony Vegas and you want to import your clip, mine is on the desktop as always. Open that up. Click yes if you have that in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Right, okay. So basically, where you want um, the soldier to be freeze framed, you want to mark the area. So you want to press the M key. Say mine's going to be about there. You're going to press M. And what you also want to do is you want to take a snapshot. So you want to make sure that the preview quality is on full. Save snapshot or save, obviously, photo. Um, and there you've got an image 16 up here. Then what you want to do is you want to find the next place for it, say about there, mark it again, and again just do a snapshot. Right, okay, so now what you want to do, um, you could do this as many times as you want, I'm only going to do it twice, so what I'm going to do is create two video tracks. So what you want to do is right click here, insert video track, and again. Right, so for image 16, that was on the first uh, marker. So what you want to do is put that on there and then the second marker is for image 17 and then you put that on the second video track if it goes down go on, get down there, there we are and you put that on there right so for this what you basically want to do is because it's a snapshot it's obviously not going to move anywhere what we're going to do is event pan crop and you want to zoom right in so by clicking the zoom edit tool you want to zoom in on the soldier. You then want to click mask just here. You then want to click the anchor creation tool and you could do it rough around this side but then when you get to the top down this right hand side you want to make sure it's nice and neat so um, it runs basically smoothly. Um, if you have it unneat then it's the effect basically looks weird because your soldier will be running out here and it will be invisible in like this area so it needs to be, look like it's running out of the soldier um, I'm just going to do it roughly here so that you get an idea of what we're doing but you need to make sure that this right hand side is neat and then the left hand side about here doesn't really matter so you're going to see on here now as we do this it does that. And now on the second marker, we want to again event pan crop it and then zoom in on the soldier. I think there will do. Hit mask and then mask around the soldier again. The left hand side doesn't really matter, but as you get to the right hand side, you want to make sure that the, uh, the masking is really nice and neat. But again, I'm just going to go over it quickly like so. So as we get over to the left hand side, you can be as messy as you want. So as you can see, it's neat around the right hand side, but it's like off on the left. And then you'll see again, he's moving out. So basically, if you do unneat around this right hand side, you're going to have a clear, uh, like a, a gap here along besides the soldier. Um, and you don't really want that. So you've got to have it as close as you can around the mask, as ac accurately as you can, it's just so it looks nice and neat. And you'll see you got a free frame there. So that looks really nice. Um, and it's nice in, obviously, your edits, whether it be chill, hardcore, whatever. Um, but that's it for today's tutorial, guys. Um, if this helped you, then please like, um, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.